first of all, I suppose I think about the mindset of people who came here, who chose to come here or who found themselves here. But I think it was very useful to look at the whole issue of education, of housing, of sport against racism, because it's a huge melting pot, isn't it? And I suppose that sums up Dublin 15 now. We have become a huge melting pot, a melting pot of cultures, of history, diversity, everything. I know that I would have made a statement about new communities fitting in and I think that that's a term that needs to be actually reversed. It is people coming to us but we're not expecting them to fit in. It's what we do to help them to fit in. The people will come with their needs, we will try to meet those needs. And I think the wonderful thing about today is it isn't anybody sitting down in a room writing a policy document or a few heads together. The people have come today. They have voted with their feet. They came to the County Council's conference and they have told us what they want and what they would like and how they would like for that to be achieved. So, you know, let's be realistic. This now gives us a programme and a name, a target to work to, to be able to accommodate the needs of everybody. I remember back many, many years ago when we were talking about early school leaving, potential early school leavers. And at that time, um, all of the research and all of the outcomes of what was happening at that time went way, way back. And it went back to early years. It was early start, pre-school. And if people have an issue with language and it isn't addressed within the classroom or pre-school, um, people will be at they're at a disadvantage all of their way through first level, second level, and hopefully what we would all want for everybody for third level. So I think it is about stripping it down, bringing it back to basics. I'm thinking of somebody I met today actually who has come here to attend the conference from Faltish Jock. A lady I knew many, many years ago, and she's a retired civil servant, and she missed the morning session because she was up in Whitechapel taking part as a volunteer in Faltish Jock. And then she came back down here to see could she learn more, inform herself more. And isn't that where people come to us with, that, with their expectations? We, through our, our experience or our contacts, use that to try to find the solutions to help people to do that. And I think that's just a little example. But I think sums up a little bit of what the conference was about today, that we have plenty of people who have you know, lots of experience, they're retiring from their jobs and there's a whole body of work that needs to be done. And we must commend the people actually in Falchus Jock and all of their volunteers um, who are, have popped up in different places around the community. And that's a great tool. I mean, because sometimes when the children will get their language skills in school, but maybe parents won't and they can be left behind. And I think of one very, very sad occasion um, last year when I went to a door and a girl about 14 answered the door and I asked, was Mammy and Daddy in or is there somebody in the house with her? And she was the only person in that house who had English. So she was like, the, almost like the security guard, the person, you know, talking, finding out what I wanted her parents for. She had to think on her feet there and then, do I need to bring them to the door? You know, do I close the door? And that's a huge responsibility to give to somebody who's 14 years of age. So when I think about what can we do, they're very real, tangible examples, I think, of where people can be at a loss in their own lives and how we can bring something to help that. I think when we termed it immigration to integration, um, one of my concerns would be um, would we be able to get enough people from our own community, from the receiving community, to come and attend the conference today? And when I looked around the room, I was, I have to say, blown away. Because we talk about diversity, this was diversity in action. People came to give, to learn, to take away. But all the time at the centre of it was the people that we organised the conference for in the first place. Our new communities, our new Irish and people go non-Irish. In a sense, I don't want to use that word anymore. So you're not Irish, but you're international. That sounds way more sexy to me. <laughs> so our international attendees today. <laughs>